right, this is Count Gregula here from Wizard World Chicago Comic Con 2012. And right now I have Miss Pixie with me from Gorilla Tango Burlesque. How Hello, you doing? I'm fantastic. It's delightful to meet a fellow fangster. Oh, yes, it, it's all my displeasure, I'll tell you right now. You know, I was hoping to see some vampires around this uh, I know, convention. There's surprisingly few bloodsuckers out <laughs> at the con this week, right? Yeah, I know, no politicians either, so who knew, right? Uh oh. Well, look at this. You've been getting quite a turnout around here. I see a lot of uh, morsels walking around here. It's a very tasty crowd. Uh, we've had many of them stopping by our booth to have their pictures taken with our performers from Gorilla Tango Burlesque, which is where I am the artistic director and uh, I'm in charge of making sure all the sexy stays high quality sexy and all the funny stays high quality funny. <laughs> So you got two high qualities there, sexy and funny. You Great. see, and we count one, two, right? Oh, that's very good. <laughs> oh, I don't know. You know, okay. Not like that Sesame Street count, no, but that's a different no, count. Definitely not Sesame Street. <laughs> we are like the opposite of that. Because <laughs> you show a little uh, flesh, right? We show a lot of flesh. We show most of the flesh. Not all of the flesh. Oh, yeah but a lot of the flesh. Oh, see. So now people that aren't familiar now, it's like a burlesque show, right? That you go in costumes and... So this is burlesque striptease show. What we do that's a little different from most burlesque shows is we do scripted burlesque parodies. So it's like a musical, but instead of bursting into song, we burst into stripping. <laughs> and our clothes burst off. Oh, see, even better. Um, and that guy likes it, too. You can tell. It's good. All, a lot of the guys like it. <laughs> and a lot of the girls like it. We get a lot of female audience. They like us very much. They like the very we much. like them very much. Oh, yeah. well, Sometimes they, they like us so much, they come back and be in the show later. Oh, no kidding. So that's how you get some of your girls, then, that's huh? That's how we get. A lot of our girls have seen the show, and then they get excited about it. They come audition. Our girls don't have to have prior striptease experience we mostly look for great actresses good comedians sometimes we do get girls with striptease experience but we're happy to teach a girl to be a stripper we have no problem with that uh, it's not too hard to take your clothes off right yes. a little bit so. yeah, our striptease is very classic burlesque which means it's a lot of tease it's a lot of wink it's a lot of smile it's a lot of gimmick like fans buzz uh, some of our numbers are done in silhouette with shadow, which is, I know you like the shadows. Yes, I'm always in the shadows. You're a big fan of the shadows, <laughs> very so big, very big. that's fun. <laughs> we tend to take a classic burlesque gimmick, like say uh, the um, balloon number, right? You have balloons and they pop the balloons. Yeah. Well, in our Super Mario burlesque number, that becomes Lakitu's cloud. You know, the little turtle that's in the cloud, he oh. throws the bombs. So, like, we take a classic burlesque concept, we put a nerdy, geeky twist on it to fit it into our shows. That's very in ingenious. I think I, I haven't seen anybody else do that. So you must have started that trend, didn't you? I I, I don't know if we started it. I, I honestly haven't done enough research. I had to make some claim like, oh, we started this, and then have somebody be like, no, you didn't. I did it first. But I can say that we have a massive audience who enjoys what we've done since we opened in 2010 with Boobs and Goombas. About 20,000 people have been to see our shows. Wow, 20,000. About see? yes. That's bad. It's uh. Very exciting to have that many people look at your boobs. Yeah, that's right. All in person, too, not on the computer screens. Oh, no, we don't you know? go on the computer screens. We are an in person live experience. You got to come see it to get it. Super fun. Super fun. Now, where can they see it to come and get it? You can see us. Uh, we have two locations in Chicago. We have a uh, the Bucktown Theater, which is at Milwaukee and Western. Yeah. We're doing four shows a weekend right there right now. We're doing a Nude Hope. Super Boobs. A Nude Hope is the Star Wars show, in case you didn't catch that one. Yeah. Super Boobs, a superhero burlesque adventure. Hooter Rangers, a spicy morphing burlesque. Nice. Hey, <laughs> to figure out what that one is. Uh, for legal reasons, I can't tell you what that one is a parody of, but you probably can guess. And we have Temple of Boobs, an Indiana Jones burlesque. Yeah. Then we also just purchased a theater in Skokie. Nice. And the Skokie Theater just opened Holy Bouncing Boobies, a Batman burlesque. Oh, I know, it's fun to say. And then, get this, last night we opened Boobs and Goombas, a Super Mario burlesque in New Orleans. Wow, One of our former actresses uh, moved down there and she's like, hey, I want to do the show here. And we were like, yes, you should. <laughs> yeah, right. The people of New Orleans need Mario Boobs. They need more Boobs. They don't see enough at Mardi Gras, so, you know, you need all year. I think now. we may actually be more clothed than what you see in Mardi Gras. <laughs> That's true, right? Because, yeah, you got a little covered there, not too Yeah, we much. got a little. Paste is in a G-string. That's our standard, yes. 
We like pasties though, because you can do more bits with pasties. Yeah. Like plain boobs are just plain boobs, but when Toad from Super Mario can have little Toad cat pasties, <laughs> or you know, the Princess Peach has invincibility star pasties. Oh, so. Yeah. so it all incorporates all together that oh, way. Oh yes, everything we do is connected to the theme. It's not just like the show stops and then there's a number. It's like if you watch, uh, say, Fellowship of the Boobs, which is our, um, uh, it's our Lord of the Rings, World of Warcraft, Dungeons and Dragons role-playing game burlesque. Like, they are on an adventure, so when they encounter a werewolf, the werewolf just doesn't stop the show and take off her clothes. There's a battle, her clothes are being cut off in the course of the battle. Nice. Yeah, so everything is integrated. It's very, it moves the plot forward, it's part of the script, part of the character relationships. Oh, yeah, I get very esoteric about it sometimes. <laughs> very theatrical. <laughs> it's very theatrical, yes. Yes, and it's fun because it means when the girl's taking off her clothes, there's always a reason, like there's always a purpose. Sometimes the reason is because we want you to have a good time, <laughs> yeah. but often the reason is connected to the plot or what's going on in the story at that time, the relationship with the other people, the fact that it's way too hot and they need to get naked. Yeah. <laughs> like know. today? Well, oh my goodness, it's a little sweaty in here, eh? A little too sweaty for us, oh but <laughs> we need to get a nice refrigerator or something here, uh, you know, a morgue somewhere. <laughs> yeah, that's what we need, one of those drawers they put you in in the morgue. Yeah. I don't know what the technical term for that is. Morgue drawer. Morgue drawer. Yeah, that's morgue what I drawer. that's what I call it. I don't know. It's the problem with being cold blooded. It's when yeah. it gets hot, you get hot blooded. Like my God, I know. I think I feel like I'm melting a little bit, but you know, <laughs> but I got more on than you do, so that's why. Uh, that's true. I, I dress light whenever possible. <laughs> light is always better. <laughs> so now, why don't we give them your uh, URL, your website, Facebook, sure. Twitter, all that stuff? You want to go to gorillatango.com. So think gorilla like the ape. <laughs> And then think tango like the dance. If you picture a gorilla doing the tango, that will help you remember. <laughs> so gorillatango.com or on the Facebook, you can look for Gorilla Tango Burlesque. In fact, people at the con, they can post their picture with us on our Facebook and possibly win the free tickets. They get free tickets, free pasties, and a free superhero mask oh, nice. if they are the winner. So any girls uh, involved with that, or no? They don't. They don't come with the prize. They don't come with the pasties, no. <laughs> but you do get the tickets to the show to see us, see? and you can all, you can pick your pasties. You can pick replica pasties from nice. one of our shows if you want to. Over there, we have some of the pasties on display. Oh my God! So we'll you have to pan over there. Yes, you'll have to pan over there. <laughs> That's very good then. So I got to remember to tell them to start uh, signing up then at your Facebook. And you're going to have a big Halloween show coming up too, right? We are opening uh, Boobs of the Dead, a Walking Dead burlesque, which is this fun concept. But this one is in this mythology when you are bitten and you turn into a zombie, you turn into a burlesque zombie. So early signs include glittery corsetry and the uh, addition of tassels to your body. So it's very, very scary, but not quite as macabre as some zombie mythologies are, because all of our guts are glitter guts. Oh, oh that's that kind of zombie then. Oh, I can't wait to see that and one. And then we're opening, opening The Empire Brings Sexy Back in <laughs> November, which is, of course, the sequel to A Nude Hope. Yeah. And that is told from the Empire's point of view. So it's all about glorious Lord Vader and the insurgent rebel scum who destroyed the peace globe. And uh, it's, a, it's a really fun take on The Empire Strikes Back. See, you got a lot coming up then, so these people got to start getting off their butts here and start getting out there. Well, our real fans could come uh, to see us every weekend, probably for eight weeks, and see a different show every single time. Yes. That's why we try to have a, a buffet of nerdery available for your <laughs> consumption. That's the best kind of nerdery is buffets, right? Yes. I see one right here today, I know. so it's take your pick, a right? Cornucopia of <laughs> delicious, sexy nerd stuff. <laughs> right. You couldn't have said it any better, I'm telling you. <laughs> that is wonderful. If there's anything else you want to add, feel free. Uh, we are always auditioning. We have auditions about once every six weeks. So if you're a performer, you're thinking, I'd like to get into burlesque. Also, I'm a big nerd. <laughs> Send us an email. We'll put you on our list to hear about auditions. And uh, if you're just a big nerd who enjoys boobs, which I think is most of us, yeah. you just check us out. Friend us on Facebook and you will get all the ongoing notifications of the shows coming up, ticket giveaways, special behind the scenes facts, Ooh. and you know, memes. We post memes. Oh, do you? Oh, see? So even something else to look at now, see? <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful. Oh my God. Thanks for this interview then, and I, I look forward to coming around Halloween time because that's the time I really come out. We, we really look forward to having you come out around Halloween. 
and enjoy our Boobs of the Dead show. Oh, we're also going to do a uh, special Halloween review where we take existing things from our current shows and add a Halloween spin. So you might get to see like a spooky Super Mario number next to a spooky Star Trek number. I'm thinking of calling it Spooky Boobs. Spooky Boobs. <laughs> Nothing like Spooky Boobs, right? They're a little shakier, probably. That's all. <laughs> but they're shimmier. Yeah, right. But they're not scary, though. See, they're not no, scary. No, just spooky. Just a little spooky. <laughs> a little spooky never not, hurts. Not called Creepy Boobs. <laughs> no. Boobs of Terror. Boobs of Terror, yeah. That's another, that's yeah, another company. That's a whole other idea. <laughs> Although I would like to see Boobs of Terror sometimes as well. Could make a haunted house of that one, I think. <laughs> haunted boobs. boobs. Come in your face, oh, like oh, I know. Pointy boobs. And <laughs> boobs with boob flesh hanging off. Oh, no, that that's is kind of gross. Oh, that is scary and oh, gross. There's somebody out there who's turned on by that. I have no doubt. Yes, that's him. <laughs> you know it. See that guy. Barry is at home. He's like, oh, the king boobs. That's my thing. <laughs> that's why he didn't come here. You know that. <laughs> there's actually a whole burlesque zombie subculture. I'm not even kidding you. Like in the world of burlesque, that's a whole thing. See, I'm sure of that. You know, everyone's got their little quirks are in this thing. So. I love subculture. <laughs> well, thanks a lot. You know, I appreciated this interview, and I'll send those people out to you guys. Please do. You know, there's you the, right there. We want you to come to the show. Bring a date. Bring a party. Just come along and come have a drink at the bar with us afterwards. <laughs> right. You don't have to have anybody. Just bring yourself. That's yes. <laughs> but the point is, you need to come. That's the only thing. Yeah. To well, the they'll show. Be, they'll be coming to the show. Exactly. We didn't say that. No, no it's pretty clean. <laughs> pretty clean, Steve. Okay, well, here you know, we have one more special guest from Gorilla Tango, the uh, burlesque show, and this is Kay Leo now. Hello. How you doing? <laughs> doing good? Enjoying no. the con? <laughs> That's right. You look a little hot in that outfit. <laughs> it's a little warm. It's a little warm. Now, you're Darth Maul, aren't you? <laughs> That's true. That's true. <laughs> Well, at least you, you got your face covered so nobody can actually say, you know, you're, you're trying to, to kill them because they can't tell your expression on your face. Right? That's, uh, we'll keep it ambiguous. <laughs> now, I hear you're one of the writers of the burlesque shows over there at Gorilla Tango, right? That, that's true. I wrote uh, Boobs of the Dead, A Walking Dead Burlesque, and uh, The Empire Brings Sexy Back, an Empire Strikes Back parody. <laughs> that is great. I know. We, we were talking to Miss Leo right here. And she said that the Boobs of the Dead is going to be coming out now in October, right? Yeah. So you're already prepared for this uh, extravaganza to debut over there, right? Well, we're ready for the sexy zombie apocalypse. <laughs> we're ready. Oh, I can't wait to see that. I'm sure everybody that's uh, going to be watching this and uh, videotaping us now like they are, <laughs> they're going to be enjoying to come out to that. Now, it starts on what date again? It starts the first weekend of October, and there's a special performance on Halloween itself. Ooh. On Halloween itself. Yep, so. and Fridays and Saturdays throughout October. Wow. So every Friday, every Saturday, see? Yep, so every these, Friday and every Saturday. <laughs> these people need to get out of their house more often then, you know? They, they got to see that show, right? Don't Help. you think? I definitely agree. This is something you need to do in October to have a fully fleshed out Halloween experience. You see why I did there with flesh, fleshed out? Style, she's making the funny here. See, I'll put a laugh track right here, you know. We'll be like, <laughs> <laughs> Yes, good idea. Well, you know, these people, you got to tell them everything. You know, they, they never go anywhere, so you got to tell them, laugh now. Got an applause sign behind us here. Applause, laugh, see, everything like that. So, what can you do? See? But I'm glad we were able to get you both in here now, you know. Now, you want to give them your Facebook or Twitter where they can uh, contact you too if they want to hear uh, more about the writing of the show? Sure, you can look up uh, K. Leo, on Facebook, Twitter, anything, you'll find me. <laughs> See, it's that easy. You can do that, right? <laughs> well, and in addition to writing the shows, Kay Leo is a fine art photographer. So not only can you check out the shows, but you can check out his photography online, which feature many beautiful women, often leaping around, usually without clothing. I see a theme here, I don't you? And, and you two are married now, so you're fine with that, right? That's sure. true. I, I'm fine with you. You never know when I'm going to come home and find a girl in her, in her buff leaping about my living room. It's kind of a regular occurrence at our household. <laughs> or he never knows when he's going to come home and find me with a group of nerds disrobing. So. Boy, you got a great household. <laughs> yes, the Miss Pixie Kaleo household is off in the uh, circus of hotness. <laughs> Always boobs everywhere, then basically. And in your Most of it is covered in glitter. 
Okay, well, glitter is okay then. So see, then it's it's, it's all right to do it that way. Glitter boobs, you know. <laughs> glitter boobs, yes. That Thank sums you. up an average week at our house. <laughs> As long as they're not sparkly vampires now. We can't have that now. That's true. No, uh, yeah, no I'm actually vampires. not a fan of the sparkly ones, no. Me neither, I know. Vampires didn't sparkle. They never did. Bela didn't. Christopher Lee didn't. So I don't either. Maybe sweaty, but not glittery. That's all. Oh, I do glitter sometimes, but it is actually not related to my vampirism. It is optional glitter. It is voluntary glitter. Well, that is not because I'm some sort of twilight creature. That's not my thing so much. Well, that's good to know, you know. Well, then we're going to add this to that other interview, and we'll send it back to you now from Chicago Comic Con, Wizard World, Gorilla Tango Burlesque, K. Leo, Miss Cleo, the whole group. You know me, Count Gregula. He's going to saber. He's going <laughs> he's gonna to get that lightsaber. So you better hurry up and get the Gorilla Tango Burlesque now. Fast. All right. Bye. <laughs>